Hello, and this is the video to help you do the brackets online exercises, levels three, four, and five. So I'm going to show you how to answer the questions in the exercises, but I hope you've actually learned this at school, and this is just sort of a final bit of revision. Okay, here we have a, a typical example of two numbers inside a bracket, or two terms inside a bracket, I should say, multiplied by a 7, which is outside the brackets. And the lack of a, a sign between the 7 and the brackets in algebra it means there's a hidden time sign there. So everything inside the bracket has to be multiplied by the 7, which is outside the brackets. So what we have to do is remember to multiply the 7 by the 2a, and I'll draw a little double-headed arrow here to show that 7 must be multiplied by the, the first term, 2a, and the second term, minus 3, also has to be multiplied by the 7, so I'll draw an, another little double-headed arrow to remind me there. So there are two multiplications to be done. The first one is 7 times 2a, which is 14a, and the second is 7 times negative 3, which is negative 21. So 14a minus 21 is the answer that you would type in to that question. Now, another example. This time we have a 10 outside the brackets. And inside we have two terms, a 3b and a 4. So again, I'll draw the little arrows pointing to the uh, terms that must be multiplied together. Everything multiplied by the 10. So first of all, 3b times 10 is 30b, plus the 4 times the 10, which is 40. So that's the answer that you would type in for that particular question. Now, what about if we have a negative number outside the brackets? So here we have a negative 3, and that has to be multiplied by the 2c and the 5. But remember, it's the whole of the negative 3 that you need to consider, not just the 3 itself. So negative 3 times 2c is minus 6c. And then multiplying the negative 3 by the 5, we have minus 15. So the answer is minus c minus 15. Here again, another similar example. The minus 9 needs to multiply both of those terms inside the brackets. So we'll do the first one, minus 9 times 5d is 45d. Not forgetting the minus sign there. And then we do negative 9 multiplied by negative 6. So a negative multiplied by a negative will give a positive answer. So it's plus and six nines are 54. So the whole answer is minus 45d plus 54. Right, we might get a more complex term outside the brackets. This one, there is a 4e outside and that has to multiply both the 2e and the 5. So I'll again draw my little arrows to show the pairs of terms that are being multiplied together. And then go ahead and do the multiplication. So 4e times 2e is 8e squared plus multiplying the 4e by the 5, we'll get 20e. And that is the answer that you have to type in. There is a, a little button that you can click to get the squared sign when you're doing it online. Right, another example now. 3f multiplied by 12f minus 7. Or you could say 3f, lots of 12f minus 7. So I know I've got two pairs of numbers or terms to multiply together. 
So let's get straight on with it and multiply the 3f by the 12f. That will give us 36f squared. And then multiplying the 3f by the negative 7 will give us minus 21f. And there is the answer to that question. You can find Transum Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free, or jump in with both feet and become a Transum subscriber.